Good morning or afternoon, whatever time it is by you. My name is Cliff Goodman. If you need to contact me, it's Cliff Goodman at Hotmail. In the subject matter, put canaster and I'll get back to you. So we're gonna go, just go over a brief go over of what we did the first time. We're playing with two decks, 108 cards. The deal is 13 cards to each player. There's really no talking during the play. You can communicate by using certain cards. So most of us play that if you had dealt three sevens or you wind up with three sevens, you throw one in the deck to let your partner know that you have two more. This is important because sevens could be a bonus or a negative to your hand. So again, jokers are 50 points, deuces are 20 points, they're both wild, aces are 20, king to eight are worth 10 points, seven to four are worth five points, and threes, one of one color is 100, two of one color is 300, three of the same color is 500, and if you had four red threes or four black threes, you get 1,000 points. Now, if you don't make a canasta, it's negative. If you make one canasta, it's neutral. If you make two canastas, it's positive. So, um, wait, I write this down. Okay, so the game is an 8,500 point game. In order to open, you need 125 points. When you reach 3,000, you need 155. When you reach uh, 5,000 points, you get, need 180 to open. Here, um, here are some examples of canasta. This is a natural canasta. It's worth 500 points. It's seven of one, suit, of one number. An unnatural canasta is worth 300 points. It's five or six of a suit. Uh, and a, a wild card. The only time you can use broken aces is when you're opening. Okay? So you can open with two deuces and three aces, and you always need a clean lay of three of a kind. So that if you had joker, joker, ace, ace, and three fives, that's, that's a good opening. Joker, ace, 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 and three sixes, that's a great opening. You never open with sevens, with three sevens. Because once you put the sevens down and you don't make it, it's minus 2,500 points. Uh, so that's, that's a bad opening. Um, this is joker, joker, joker. It gives you 150 points, but it's very iffy if you're gonna make it. So I would not open unless I had in the beginning of the game, five of a kind of wild cards, and if it was getting down to the end and, no, and we couldn't open and I had four, I would open with four. Um, I would never open with aces like this because you need to complete it with all seven of the aces, which is hard to do because usually your opponents are holding to if they have them. You need, so one of the big things about playing this game is you need to remember what was played, what was thrown by the other people. So if you can account, if you know that there's three aces in there and you know you can get control of the deck, maybe you should open with four, four aces. Um, joker, joker, deuce, deuce. Well, if, if, like I said, if four of a kind, because they're all wild, if, I couldn't open any other way, and my partner wasn't able to open yet either. I might do it. Here's an example of opening with 12 cards. That's the maximum number of cards you can use to open, unless you're picking the deck. If you're picking the deck, you can use all 13 cards, but otherwise you need to have one card in your hand and one card to throw. Um, here's, here's, again, four wild cards and two, two lays of three, which gives you to 125 points. Um, it's not good to do this right away in the game because what happens if your partner doesn't have any deuces or jokers? Um, queen, queen, this is not a legitimate open. 
because you don't have a three of a kind. So you can't do that either. Okay, so communicating with the sevens, you should not keep more than two sevens in your hand or two aces in your hand. Sometimes you will keep two, three aces or four aces if you're trying to open with aces broken. Um, and the only time you can use all 13 cards in your hand is if you're picking the deck. So there are some specialty hands. We're going to give you f uh, an example of four of them. Um, Fran, my lovely wife Fran is here. Would help me? So this is the dealer. We're playing the hands open so you can see them. Can you zoom, on, zoom in on these? Okay. So I'm the dealer. This is the first person to go. This person has a three. He puts the three out and takes a card for the three and a card for his draw. Okay? And then he throws something out. So he's not close to opening it, but he does have three of a kind. That's a good thing. So he's going to throw a five. This person comes along and they draw a card. They draw a deuce. So they're pretty close to opening. So he can actually 70, 120. He just needs another pair. So he'll throw a four. Then this person. Okay. So this is pairs. Okay. It's just a random pairs. Okay. Now I'm going to show you these hands because this happens and it happens often. I, I played a couple of weeks ago and we played one game and I had pairs twice during that game. Okay, so it does happen. You need all four, you need all 14 cards, and that's all you get is you get 3,500 points for the hand, and they would, it, it, if they had opened and made canastas, it, their points would count, but since it was, we did this early in the game, they're all negative. Not only are they all negative, this person has three aces. That's 1,500 points negative. So this, this can happen. It does happen. Usually it happens a little later in the game. Um, not so fast on the first round. We just wanted to get this over with because we have a bunch more rounds to play. Okay. Can you split those away? Uh, this is an interesting one. I've only had this happen to me one time. This is the only exception to opening without opening points. So. Okay, you wanna put these out? This is, again is the first person. He's got an ace, deuce, sevens. Oh, he's got five tens and three fours, and he has a three. So this person, let me get this one out. Well, this person could probably open too. Okay, so let's see what happens now. This person had a three. He gets one card for the three and one card for his draw. And he's gonna throw a card and he's gonna throw a jack. This person goes, they pick up a third ace. Um, it's 130, he could open, I guess. I hope this works out. Let's see. If he opens, here's his clean three of a kind. He could open that way. I probably wouldn't do it on the first round, but he can. So he opens. He has to throw a card. This would be his opening. He has to throw a card, and he picks four. OK, 
Okay. That's his tone. Okay. Okay, this person has a dealer has a three. Picks two cards. No, we could have. Um, but what happened to my tens? Yeah, I know. Because you didn't feel what they weren't supposed to open. No. Okay. All right. It's not a big deal. Give me that ten. Now I have two, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so we're going to change this around a little bit and put this card under here. Okay, I, I picked a three, I picked a third seven. Okay. Um, what happened to the ten? Okay, the cards got messed up somehow. All right. So when I pick, when I pick this time, I picked another ten. So it goes down. Okay, and then I discard. I don't want to hold three sevens in my hand, so I'm putting one back in. It's telling my partner I have two sevens, and they can release their two sevens if they have any sevens. They should really throw them in to let me get a count of how many sevens are in the deck. That's important. Um, this person goes. Oh, this was my seven. Okay. And gets a queen. Doesn't help him. So he has to throw out a card. Oh, I have a pair of jacks. Okay. Um, I can pick up a fourth king in, in the deck. I can put it down. You never, usually you don't want to put more than four cards down. See, I, made, I actually made aces safe. They can throw an ace, and I, even if I had two aces. So I, for me, this ace is safe. Okay, because she can't pick it. Yep. And I need it. So this would give me six. All right, so I need to throw a card out. I throw out. You go. This person would go. They pick up a nine. They still don't have three of a kind, but they have another pair. But they're open, so that's okay. Um, but my partner did release a seven. This person throws. Um, I'll throw an eight because eight's been played already. And I draw. And I draw a seventh ten. I can now open just using these. This is a canasta. This is the only time you can open without opening points is like this with seven of a kind. And I didn't think it ever could happen, but it did happen to me. Only once, but it does, it does happen. So let's, let's that's it. That's it. I just wanted to show. Okay, now when you do pairs, that first hand we played, if you have deuces or jokers, you can't have both. If you have deuces or jokers, you must have two aces and two sevens. So it makes that hand very difficult to get. Okay, here's pairs with deuces. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight go down. One goes across. Here's 
Here's the dealer. There's the first hand, there's the second hand, there's the third hand. Let's see. Let's see if I, I don't mess this up. You have enough cards? This person sitting, the dealer is sitting with pairs, just needs one card. So this person's first, they have a three, so they get one, two cards. Here's the kick. They have four sevens, they're in trouble. They have to throw, but they cannot throw a seven or an ace or a dead card on an empty tray. So they have to play another card. This person goes. It's a five, it's no help. He dishes, ditches it. My partner has a three. Oh, I pick a five. Now, usually, again, it usually doesn't happen on the first round, but it does happen. The game stops. They are minus everything, and we get 3,500 points. And they were minus the aces and, then, and the sevens. Oh, they may, yeah. So they have 1,500 points for that and 1,500 points for that, all negative. Plus whatever. So it's 1,500 points, and 1,500 points, that's 3,000, 31, 32, and then all the points are negative. And we get 3,500 points. We don't count that coin, that cards at all. Okay. Now most people play both of these, both of these game, these three games that we just showed you, and some people play this. And there are a couple other hands that people play. Um, it's table rules. That's what it is. Um, there's a couple other hands people play that I usually don't play, uh, but I can play if I have to. Um, and they play 4 4 3 3 and a couple other ones. And, and again, we're playing with uh, regular cards. You can play with canasta cards or you can play with bridge cards. They're a little bit smaller than these. Dealer. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we have plenty of time. Let's see. Okay. So this is the first hand. Person has let me open up this one too. Well, this person has a good shot at making at going for pairs. This is a typical hand that if I was playing this hand, since I don't have any wild cards, I, I'd be going for pairs. Okay, so in this hand, you can see I have a straight. Okay, so this person goes, they have a three, so they take one card for the three and one card for the draw. They have three sevens, 
We get a nine. You hold on to the nine, get rid of the five. Can't throw the seven on an empty Can't deck. Can't throw the seven on an empty deck. Can't throw an ace on an empty deck. This person goes, they have nothing. They have three nines now. Uh, and they'll ditch a five. Want me to open? Okay. 140. No more than enough points. Well, I don't, no, I don't want you to open. I'm not opening. Because I'm afraid to open because there's only four. I'll, I'll wait around. Okay. And Throw a card. Open. Okay. Here's my card. And guess what? I draw the Joker. This is called the garbage hand. It's a straight. It's one of every single card. Okay. Doesn't so very it doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Pairs are more likely than anything else, and pairs without aces, without deuces, is more likely than anything else. Also. And so this hand is minus so, three thousand. So right. So this this hand again, they're stuck. They're minus three thousand points. Thirty-one, thirty-two plus all their points in the hand. And what do you get for garbage? Yeah, it's twenty-five hundred points. It's again, these are, it doesn't happen in the first round, believe me. I mean, but it does happen. So when, you, when you're playing and you have a three like this and you're going for garbage hand, you can't later on put down the three and set up another card. Because this, if, you draw, if you draw another card, say, it's and it's not a joker, I drew a king, then I have to get rid of that king and there's only four jokers in the deck. So, and if you see three of them come out, we ain't gonna make it. <laughs> if you see, especially if you see the fourth come out. So those are the, those are the specialty hands that are played. Um, keeping track of what's in the play, it's, in, it's been thrown, is very helpful. Uh, some people have better memories than others. Some people play that you can look back three cards so that they play that when you're ready to throw a card to discard, you can look back three cards to see what that person threw. I never played before like that until a couple years ago. Um, they don't play that way in tournaments. Um, you got to remember what was played. It's very important that you remember how many aces and how many sevens were thrown. Because I've been in games where it got down to the, almost the end, and the deck was like this thick, and there were, there were five aces in the deck, but I didn't have two aces to pick the deck up with. So it, it does happen. Um, other than that, it's the more you play, the better you'll get at it. If you can have you know, if you play the husband and wife and you play with your friends as a couple, um, I usually play men against the women. This way I don't yell at my wife that much, just yells at me. Um, but it's a friendly game. It, it, it's a lot of fun. It can be very amusing. Um, and and it's, it's a good way to have social interaction. Um, I, I actually have played um, since the COVID virus, we started playing outside a couple of months ago, um, wearing masks, uh, playing with clean cards, and that's it, you know, and we sit back. And, you know, you're pretty far back, and if you have a mask on, you really have nothing. Wash your hands, clean, you can't keep your hands clean, and you'll be fine. And thank you for that. Have a good afternoon or morning, whatever it may be.